Welcome to CheatHappens.com Today I'm going to show you how to use Aurora on the Steam Deck. Let's begin with part 1. We have to go to the desktop mode and choose the app which is called Discover. Then we're going to search for a software called Proton QT. After we found it, Proton App QT, I'm going to install it. Meanwhile, while it's downloading, let's go ahead and download Aurora from Cheat Happens website. Use your favorite browser. By default, it will download the zipped file to the downloads folder. Let's go ahead and extract the zip file at the downloads folder. Right click, extract, extract archive here. Next, we're going to open the software Proton Up QT. Click on Launch. We'll install Steam Tinker Launch. Just click on Add Version and Install. Next, we go to Steam, right click on the game we wish to change the properties to, and uncheck enable the Steam overlay. Also, under compatibility, force the use of specific Steam Play compatibility tool, and we choose Steam Tinker Launch. We close the properties and on part 2 of the video we're going to use the game mode. Let's go back to the game mode. Click on the Steam button, go to Settings, System and Enable Developer Mode very important step. Then we go ahead and run the game. It will launch the Steam Tinker menu. We need to click quickly on the main menu of the Steam Tinker. After that we'll click on Game Menu. the game menu we need to check use custom command and for custom command. Under the custom command we need to search for the aurora.exe file. We'll go to the downloads folder, 
when we're accepting that. And click on Aurora EXE. Open file. Click on Save and Play. I will get the game. By the way, if the game crashes, just restart Steam Deck and afterwards start from where you left off. Now we go and switch to CH Aurora. Click on login because we remembered our password before. The game is found. We'll activate the trainer. The trainer now is successfully attached to the game. Let's try all of the options. Unlimited health, limited mana, and game speed. Click on the Steam button again and go to the game. Let's see if the trainer worked. As you can see, the game runs really quick. Let's also check the unlimited health option. We'll find an enemy. Here we go. As you can see, he can harm us. The health is not decreasing and the trainer works perfectly. I will show you how easy it is to get back to the trainer and uh, disable one of the options or enable another option, etc. Again, we click on Steam, go to Aurora, just disable. Let's disable the game speed. You can see it takes effect immediately. The game is much slower right now. Normal. Just so you know, guys, I tried this method on a lot of games and it always works like a charm. I think it's the easiest method out there. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.